Carl, Carl, Carl. Yo, man, you ever feel like this? Alrighty, folks. So we are here to recap a historic Oscar event filled with memorable movies and glittering moments. And of course, somebody getting slapped upside the head. This video is sponsored by Ray. Yeah, it's rewind time. This year, the Academy hired three women to host because it's cheaper than hiring one man. <laughs> <laughs> You'd speak, girl. Yeah, you go, girl. It's so true. But I'm still excited to be hosting, representing black women who are standing proud. Yes, and I'm and living out loud. Yes. 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 And I and representing unbearable white women who call the cops when you get a little too loud. Okay. Man, blew that line, didn't she? Wanda Sykes just blowing up yeah, that we've been laugh line. with COVID for two years. It's been really hard on people. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, just look at Timothy Chalamet. Oh, God. Uh, what happened? I don't know. It's not good. It's not good. You know what? I still smash. You smash? Okay. <laughs> With comedic chops like that, why wouldn't you hire those three women instead of a man? I mean, I can't imagine why they were priced so cheaply in the market, considering they're very good at the comedy. Was there a joke in there, like anywhere? The only joke is a sight gag with J.K. Simmons. Do I look like a double f***ing rainbow to you? So, yeah, that's that's great. Solid stuff there, guys. By the way, Wanda Sykes just blows that line right in the middle. You had one job there, Wanda. One job to say living out loud. That was yes, literally your only line in that little stupid skit. Living out loud. And you just completely blew it up. Yeah. It was that sort of entertainment. By entertainment, I mean somebody taking a drill bit and boring it into your skull for four hours. This year, we saw a frightening display of how toxic masculinity turns into cruelty towards women and children. Mm. I tell you, damn that Miss McConnell. I know, I know. <laughs> But you know, I was actually talking about the power of the dog. Oh, yes. Mm, Mitch McConnell joke. Those are always good. Nothing says a laugh out loud funny, like like toxic masculinity turning into a display of power that harms women and children. And your first thought was Mitch McConnell? You are literally in Hollywood where half the men have raped women. Thank you, Harvey Weinstein. I have a feeling like you could basically throw a rock and you would hit a person who had engaged in toxic masculinity that had harmed women directly in that room. The Academy. Congratulates Roman Polanski. <laughs> like Mitch McConnell. Now we'll go all the way to Kentucky for Mitch McConnell. Pull that reference. Wanda Sykes, wow. Oh, the clever political humor of these people. My goodness. Wow, if you, if you got all that humor together in one room, it, it wouldn't even fit in one room. It could fit inside an atom. Subatomic particles of humor happening in that room. Wow. Well, we're going to have a great night. Lies. Tonight. And for you people in Florida, we're going to have a gay night. Gay, gay, gay. gay, gay. It is hilarious because they said gay a lot, like small children. Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny, Nicole. It's so funny because they said gay a lot by not understanding how legislation works or that children ought to be protected from this kind of crap. And uh, <laughs> gay, gay, gay. That's the laziest joke in the entire, it's not even a joke. It's just you being lazy. It's just you're lazy and you're stupid. And because you're lazy and stupid, you made a lazy, stupid joke. You can make a funny joke? You can go with anything? Really? It's not funny! Okay. Your punchline was saying gay a lot? You're right. No one knew that Hollywood is in favor of everything gay. No one knew that at all. In case you didn't know, they're going to tell you like a lot every day for the rest of your life, 24 hours a day. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night. You're going to need a snack from the fridge. You're going to open the fridge. The light's going to go on. And somebody from Hollywood is going to pop out and shout gay at you just to prove how much they like gay people. Well, Jada, what a beautiful couple. And we're honoring a, a lot of couples here. I got a bad feeling about this. Jada and Will Smith, Penelope and Javier Bardem and Maggie and Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, it's a night for lovers. <laughs> how did that, how was that the joke? Cause, they, cause they're siblings, so they have the last name, same last name, uh-huh. Uh, man, this is some weak tea right there. Woo, woo. These stinkers were bad when Bob Hope dragged them out of the bay in 1943. Who's Bob Hope? God. And I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio, what can I even say about him? It's, he's done so much to fight climate change and leave behind a cleaner, greener planet for his girlfriends. <laughs> because he's older and... The, 
<laughs> okay, that's the only funny joke of the night. That's right actually right. funny. Okay, because I'll never not laugh at a Leonardo DiCaprio bangs 20-year-old joke. Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Those jokes are always funny. Sorry. They are. We'll get to more on this historic and fascinating Oscars in just one moment first. I'm sure you all know about the Ring video doorbell by now, but something you might not know is that Ring makes an alarm. It's true. Ring makes an alarm in case Will Smith is breaking into your home to smack you upside the head. Ring Alarm is an award-winning home security system with available professional monitoring when you subscribe. Best of all, you can easily install it yourself. Ring Alarm Pro is a next-level security system. CNET calls Ring Alarm Pro a giant leap for home security. That's right, because I use it. With Ring Alarm Pro, Ring combined a home security system and a Wi-Fi router, so this thing helps protect your home and your network. Now, I have a secure network with a crazy strong signal for all the devices across my home. And if you're anything like me, that is a lot of devices. So now, when I'm out or traveling, I know everything at home is protected and connected and that it will stay that way. With the Ring Protect Pro subscription, which is an amazing deal, by the way, I get professional monitoring for the ultimate peace of mind. If anything happens, professional monitoring will call and can request emergency services. And my kids are constantly running around. I lose track of them. I need Ring to help me keep everything in my house safe, including my kids. You might not have known, but it's true Ring has that award-winning alarm. I've gone pro with that Ring Alarm Pro, and you should too. Head on over to ring.com forward slash Ben Shapiro. That is ring.com forward slash Ben Shapiro to get started. Ring.com forward slash Ben Shapiro. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> oh, that's that, was, gets that good. was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> he thinks we're friends. It's going to be good. It's not going to be good. Oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I could, oh, okay. <laughs> you wanted to see a line there. That was a... Uh... Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. These are your moral betters. They should tell you about everything in life. They should. Just to put this out there, Hollywood is filled with narcissistic crazy people who are crazy and narcissistic and also crazy. The best thing about this particular moment, you see the shot right before where Will Smith actually laughs at the line and then he sees that Jada Pinkett Smith is upset about it and then he goes and smacks Chris Rock upside the head. He changed his opinion on the fly right there. But defending your marriage from the uh, vicissitudes of a man telling a joke about alopecia, perhaps a mildly inappropriate joke about alopecia. She's got alopecia, so not a happy home life. The vicissitudes of shifting from, yes, my wife can nail as many other dudes as she pleases, to... How dare you tell a joke about my wife's alopecia is a, is a radical one. So there's that. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, this is a beautiful moment and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying for winning an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light on all of the people. Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but love will make you do crazy things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or were you crazy? So that it wasn't a great look for, for Will Smith. In fact, they had to send him to live with his auntie and uncle off in Bel Air after that one little fight. So unfortunate, unfortunate. Ah! Why don't they just issue a collective joint acceptance speech? They're all the same speech. Yes, we get it. Your cult of authenticity is the only thing that you care about. We all ought to be celebrated for all the choices we make in life. And we all ought to be awarded and celebrated for those things because we're the special people. And if you don't agree with us, it's because you're bad and terrible and we should slap the crap out of you. Like, yeah, we get it. Because this is Hollywood, a place where they make movies that no one has ever heard of, paid for by movies people have heard of that are not nominated for awards. And then actors celebrate themselves for being tolerant and diverse and for being themselves because the truest element of heroism is being yourself. Okay, uh, the truest element of heroism is doing your duty. For these folks, the truest element of heroism is being you. 
being you. I'm a black man with a short fuse. Just go away. Hollywood's Oscar night, where we celebrate the biggest movies and the most glamorous stars, all of whom are there for your entertainment. Or, alternatively, or a bunch of insufferable asshats get together wearing extraordinarily expensive clothing and give themselves awards and give themselves thousands of dollars worth of swag bags and fly in on private jets to lecture you about how they are your moral superiors by dint of the fact that they say gay a lot and also gay and also slap each other in the face and sometimes talk about gay people and how bad America is and how it's racist and how they're gay. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that pageant of stupidity more than... I did. Honestly, it's like watching a woke TikTok video, except with really, really famous people. That's what the Oscars has become, except a, a normal woke TikTok video now has more views.